You guys are mad at me for breaking this vise, but it wasn't supposed to break. But let me show you how I did it anyway. I broke this vise, bolting it down to this table and swinging a giant hammer at it. Now this is a test machine that we use around the workshop to test the Fireball Hardtail vise. And it helps us design the world's strongest bench vise. So we thought it'd be fun to put this record number six underneath the hammer to see how it handles it. But what this hammer does is it actually tests swivel bases right here. This connection between the vise and the table. When the hammer hits the vise, it levers itself off of the table. And then we can find out what weak part in the vise design fails first. But this record number six failed here. It didn't even fail with the swivel base, which is awfully strange. I was supposed to break this. This part was supposed to break. The ears were supposed to break off. The screws were supposed to pull out. We were trying to find the weakness in all of these components. If any of these parts fail during normal operation, that's okay because they're replaceable and the vise still works. But when we get a failure like this, that's a big problem because now the whole vise is wrecked. So while I have it here, let's take a look at this build construction. So if we look at the design, I can see why it broke here. We have a nice big thick area right up here and then it starts to get smaller as it goes down. So looking at the fireball vise, the same vise that we tested under the hammer, look at this. See the hardtail vise, how it's reinforced right here? I know that this area takes a lot of load because we test it here in the workshop. So if we compare the record vise, the angle that it broke, and then the hardtail vise angle, it's almost exactly the same. This angle in the hardtail vise is there on purpose. So running simulations in CAD tells us that this is a weak area and we have compensated for that and we've moved it much further forward to give this area more leverage. So this is a high stress load area and we have solved it for you guys, so you should never have a problem. And we have a fully boxed tube down here. See how this is hollow here on the bottom of the slide? The hardtail doesn't have that. Much stronger design. If you'd like to see this hammer in action and to actually see the test, I'll leave a link down below where you can watch it on YouTube. So I know you guys think this is silly to put this vise under a big huge hammer like that and hit it several times. But you have to remember, we're trying to design the world's best bench vise. And I do not want this vise to end up on the Google Images pages of broken vices. We're trying to build an unbreakable vise. And I want to know that you can swing a hammer at this thing as hard as you want and it will never break. So hopefully you guys understand our goals at Fireball and designing the world's best bench vise. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you on the next short.